Yeah, so Yashil did take a set off of Raven King's Sephiroth in ladder. Uh, now he's going to be going up against the Joker. A um, little bit different of a matchup. It's going to be a lot more fast-paced. Um, and he's going to be able to do that just every single time he throws out the knight. Which is it. great for Joker. Uh, sucks for Zelda that her, like, probably one of her best moves, if not best move, is uh, just kind of invalidated a lot. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like the... Uh... The knight is one of the ways that Zelda gets a lot of her damage and a lot of her stage control. Like, Zelda, less so than a character like Pac-Man, is going to be based on trapping and trying to, like, pressure the opponent by kind of placing hitboxes rather than, um, like, throwing hitboxes out randomly. Yeah, Zelda's very focused on, like... Charge Phantom here, and then run back, and then do an up in this direction. Do a ledge cancel there, like that. Yeah. Use it to inspire, and uh, read your movement completely with it. <laughs> Alright, so far we're seeing Yasho kind of throw out a lot of these uh, up Wait, how did he die? Which... Edge Garden? I completely yeah. missed that. Uh, I think he got ledge traps. I remember Raven King hanging on ledge, and then I think Yasho just kind of died. Hmm. Oh, but oh, just, just a little bit off. too far out. He went, he went really far to stay away from the fans. Mm -hmm. Which I think, is I think a what bit he... farther than he needed to. It, that's gonna be like how Yashil has to capitalize on base Joker when base Joker is out, rather than um, Arsene Joker. Because Arsene Joker is gonna be able to just like fly right over that, or even counter it. But base Joker has to avoid it. Yeah, especially off stage. Mm -hmm. Because doing um, Rebel's Guard off stage can kind of just set you up to get hit with more stuff if it's someone like Zelda. Yeah. He goes for a back here, not gonna take it. No one getting any hits off in there. I thought someone was gonna get hit by something. I thought Zelda up B was gonna two frame Joker. Mm -hmm. Alright, but down air up air gonna the take that. Down air up air. Bread and butter combo. Also, pretty, pretty simple one as well. Mm hmm. Right, there's that Rebel's Guard off stage, but is able to make it back, thankfully. Just kind of uses it as protection, really. Doesn't actually get it off. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, that was a great... Well, actually, maybe it was just a, a let-go, um, but it happens to be a great parry. Mm -hmm. I never question parries with someone like Raven King's Caliber doing them. No, but also the, the idea with that one... Oh, just the, the instant down throw fair. The idea with that one is that if you do parry timing, even if... Zelda goes somewhere else, it, you, nothing will happen to you. That's true. So there's actually no reason to not go for the parry time. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Raven King with a, with a clean two stock, game one. Um, I think the main thing I want to see, see from Yashil is less Knight when it's base Joker, because he just gets Arsene racked up so quickly. I want, and Arsene, I want murder. Arsene Joker. <laughs> Arsene Joker is just an entirely different beast. It's a hard character to fight against, and I feel like it's. I feel like it was made harder because of small battlefield being very limiting on movement, and Zelda mm -hmm. already being a practically movementless character. Yeah. All she has is like teleport cancels, and those are not the. I think not the easiest to implement into mm -hmm. like the everyday movement of Zelda. Yeah, I'd expect something bigger, maybe like a Kalos, uh, where you still have the platforms to move around, but um, there's more a stage bit to to do yeah. stuff with. Three, two, one, go! Again, the silence, the silence speaks volumes. Immediate eight, <laughs> like he traded eight percent and immediately got our send, but. Now he's going to a lot more percent for it, and if he's not able to capitalize on it, uh, that percent is not really going to be worth it at all. Also, that uh, high hit. Ooh. Ooh. Runoff fair there from Yashil is going to be taking that stock, but gets double back here for a yeah, almost, almost gets completely dragged off stage. And Raven King starting with the drag down combos. Uh, I thought they didn't really work that well on floaties. I thought it was more I mean, on, like, fastballers. 
I would think so too, but Zelda's kind of a big body uh, as she eats that. She's a little bit larger uh, as she gets red, uh, red, red on her roll really hard. Like, comparatively to other floaties. She's definitely like a, a bigger sized one. I think maybe it's just something uh, slightly different compared to other floaties that I think of. Aside from the, the actual like physical off uh, the also, another downer combo, taking just a lot of percent because it's our set. And the downer up are coming clean again. Alright. Get the down throw the downer up here. A great DI read, because it actually can be kind of difficult to read what people are going to do, so you just have to know. Mm -hmm. The thing about Zelda, uh, when she grabs you at that percent, or not out of percent, but that uh, part of the stage is that um, her down throw. Ooh, <laughs> Fire Raven King. Unfortunately, he tried. He tried something. So when you um, di her down throw in, it's gonna send you directly up. But if when you or no, sorry, when you di it out, it's gonna send you directly up. But if you di it in, it'll send you behind her. So Raven King Pretty didn't sure want to di because it sends it, behind her naturally. It's reverse of whatever the normal thing is. Like, we fits and peaches. I confused myself. No, I'm, I'm, pretty sure you I'm pretty sure you DI it like you normally would any other move that sends it that type. Pretty sure mm. you DI out to go out, and then you DI in to go up. I'm confused. Because I don't anyway. remember having to DI weirdly for it, like, ever. And I, I have a, a friend who plays... Zelda. Like, all she does is play Zelda, and I remember DIing like a normal person. <laughs> mm. Well, I confused myself, so pay no attention. Very me. low. Both at very high percent. That was a weird interaction right there. Mm. Oh, tries to get the up B, but not gonna take it. Also, a weak um, downer on it. And Arsene is out of the game, but he is a, she's a 154 uh, Joker back air normal. We'll still take it anyway. I think the point I was trying to make when I was confusing myself was that Raven King didn't want to DI out because if he DI'd out, then he would die to a back throw. So it's like he DI'd for the back throw and got down thrown. That was well, the you point. Have you have plenty of time to DI during the down throw animation. He didn't want to get hit by the back air because that actually would have killed him. Hmm. Because the lightning kick. Uh, back air, even at like 50, probably would have killed Joker. And he was in like the 80. That's true, that's true. Alright, so going Zelda, into the game I don't think Zelda back throw would have killed even if he did DI in for it. Maybe, mm -hmm. but it might have been able to correct himself halfway through and still not. Sticking with the Joker for Game 3, I don't see a reason to change. It's been working out really well. Um, a lot of this game has been Raven King kind of controlling the pace and Yashil having to adapt. And we saw a bit of that last game where Yashil was trying to come back. back. Yeah. We I actually started tried starting off as <laughs> per usual, Rebels guarding the uh, knight mm -hmm. and getting like 80% of his bar. I'm loving these teleport cancels off the Kalos platforms. Yeah, I, I love seeing Zelda teleport cancel because it's very awkward to do. I find it super, super hard. Uh, and it just... Like, even right there, it probably maybe tried to teleport cancel. Uh, and it just oh, didn't work because wow. it's kind of awkward. And we got an instant Rebel's Guard from, uh, from Raven King there. And he's about to get Arsene again. I get a little bit of nothing going on. Just kind of waiting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another ledge cancel and uh, Zelda able to get the backer out of it, instantly killing Joker as well. He just kind of perished. Another roll of lead, very similar to last game, except not killing this. Yeah, that's sort of been the, uh, the downfall of Yashil, is he keeps getting these rolls read from ledge, and that took- that cost him two stocks last game. I don't know... He was able to luckily live this one. But that's got to be on the forefront of his mind as he goes a little bit farther in here. 
Now, Arsene back actually kind of surprising that he was able to get Arsene again uh, before even killing the shell. The back mm. are not taking it. It, is, it was from center stage. Also, that knight is turned around. I don't know if Raven King will last hit. Ooh, read the DI. The hard, that's a very hard DI read to be able to get the uppy off of that, because I think you do have to angle it a slight bit after the first hit as well. So you have to read the DI twice, basically, for the down throw and for the uppy. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually expecting that the last game, because I thought that Raven King might have been at the perfect percent for it, but he's probably too high. Mm -hmm. Was at the perfect percent that time, though, and... Uh... Yeah, that, I thought the second hit wasn't going to connect, but it seems like it just kind of barely did. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kalos seems to be working out a lot better for Yashil than the other two stages. I think it's just the, the much more wideness of the stage than the platform layout. It's the wideness, and it's, um, like, it's a similar style to FD. Uh, so he gets a lot of the same advantages to FD, but he has these platforms that he can teleport cancel on as well. Also, Arsene is gone, and, uh, Raven King's at 87, so he's in a pretty dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. Does get another, oh, another rebel card. Got back. Back are coming out not killing. This is the second time that Yashil has just barely lived after getting hit. Okay, that one does kill, so Raven King at 120 with half of his bar left. Yeah, this but is where Raven... The, combo, the platform extending it even longer. This is where Raven King has to push the advantage when he still has this Arsene on this stock. Because he loses it right here, and now he has to try and sneak a Rebel's Guard in just like that, but gets grabbed for his troubles. Well, for not killing Kalos, a very tall stage. And they got able to stall out and uh, kind of remove Phantom from the equation for a second. This game is even. Oh yeah, especially with Arsene out again. That backer, I, that backer did not hit. <laughs> but we'll pretend it did. Raven King got the ledge trump, but Yesha with a great roll from ledge. That time, actually, the roll saved him. There goes Phantom blocking the, um, whatever that is called. The Aegon. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, right. finally gone. Both have very high percents, though. Mm -hmm. It is an inopportune time to lose Arsene, but he has all the momentum. He is rocking this edge guard. Ooh! <laughs> He's going for it. He went... Oh, that was a great so way deep. on it, actually. Up tilt? Ooh, yeah, the the gun dash into up tilt will kill at super high percent with range. And he gun, he gun dashed right into the ending hitbox of that. Mm -hmm. So he still takes his uh, first game of the set. On Kalos, which is the stage that you wanted him to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting a a, a shorter stage coming out um, from Raven King's selection, especially since the last stage he won on was FD. So that's the one that's going to be MBSR'd off instead of where was game one? Was game one on Small Battlefield? He can go back to Small Battlefield if he wants to. Actually, going to be going to the largest stage in the game in Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, so I believe Blast Zone Y is largest. Um, mm. Is the actual stage itself the same wideness or um, a little bit shorter than? I'm not sure. I always just heard the stage was the largest and believed it. I think Blast Zone Y is the largest, but actual like stage wise, I don't think it's as large as Kalos. I believe that is Kalos. Gotcha. Up smash, not gonna yeah, kill. A lot but... of up smashing, and then trying to go for the up B. Had a, a pretty big like percent lead right there, so like, why not try it? I mean, yes, but you're also giving Raven King, especially Raven King with Arsene, uh, power, in, an opening, and he took that opening and <laughs> like made a stock out of it. Teleport, and another cancel. teleport cancel for the double teleport. 
very hard to see if Zelda does a teleport out of a teleport cancel because it just looks like an extended animation. Mm. I'm liking these attempts right here, but I think Yashil needs to slow down just a little bit. He's His usage of Nehru's love to break out of the combos is really good. Because he has been able to break out of a lot of combos and uh, reduce the damage that he's taking. Also, hits him with a lightning kick there, evening up this percent very quickly. Yeah. A Raven King tried to read another roll there, but you show with a great jump out of that corner. Another fair one kind of whiffs the punish, though. I think the platform just was a little not in his favor. Mm hmm. Yeah, another dip down there. underneath the phantom. That was a good wait on the actual teleport cancel. I think he knew it was mm -hmm. And a great thrift back there from Raven King, but does get caught by that forward smash. Gets and yeah, his get up attack getting caught. We got a one stock game here. Game four. He's still getting hit by two of those Aegon, or Ahai. Oh, uh, so he's taking a lot of, def of um, dot damage. I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for uh, a smash attack there, because Yashil seems to just go for the more defensive recovery of just getting to the ledge. But he's probably afraid of Yashil uh, going past ledge and hitting him. Yashil's been going past ledge every single time, so it he was smart been. I feel like it's something that I forget about, so I'm like, I would have gone for the herder attack. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it would have been like the no mind game mind game. Yeah. Where it's like, Herder, I'm gonna hit you, 